Hi, this is Lisa Allen and in today's tutorial video I want to show you a quick and easy way to really boost your viral share and get more traffic using really easy quote pictures that we can find ideas for in a very automated fashion. So we always have a basket full of ideas that we can pull from really fast and you'll find that there are some other benefits to using quotes as well. So let's just get started. We're going to use RSS feeds and IFT to automatically get these ideas sent to us by the hundreds and we're going to have them be really high quality and have already been shared and, and kind of passed the virability test so uh, I think you're really going to like this particular strategy. So first why are we going to talk about images? Well first of all images really get shared more. One of the great things about them is that people actually like to share images more often than an article link will get shared. And on sites like Facebook you have this additional factor going on where Facebook kind of throttles outbound links and so an image post tends to get shared more there and make the rounds and have people interact with it and then when people reshare it of course Facebook considers it good quality content and so you will get like a boost of how much your content gets shared just from having those things that go, are really successful. Now Facebook also kind of doesn't really like just you know cute cat pictures. They consider those kind of like not really very worth it. But when you have quotes people have a tendency to comment on them more and so that makes them a little bit more in the useful rather than the than just useless you know random photos. So let's talk about the advantages of using quotes. Now one of the most shareable types of images are inspiring or motivational quotes or quotes that resonate with your target market. The things that they think about themselves, the things that they care about. The quotes often can hit those hot buttons really easily and they are really shared a lot too because people want to show off what they believe or think. They want to give other people the chance to agree with them and so that makes it very viral content. And the fact that the quotes themselves are not usually copyrightable, even though the image can be copyright, the actual quote on it can't. So you can make your own new image with the same quote on it really fast so it really cuts down on the amount of effort. You know, you don't need to be a graphic artist to just slap some text on a background or a picture and have it be shared like crazy. So let's talk a little bit about why we're going to automate this. Now one of the things, you know, for a long time I was doing this with one of my pages. I was finding little quotes about cats and then I was going and I was looking for pictures about cats and then I was spending a little while you know I would like rattle off 10 or 20 of them but it was taking me several hours to do all the research and then find the quotes and then find the backgrounds and then you know kind of pair them up and then I would still have to spend time scheduling them and so anything that you can do to take a bit off of this sequence so that you can have a lot of content going out in a very constant fashion will get you a lot better results and the thing that I noticed too is that as I was doing that even though I was getting really good results from those photos being shared with the quotes, I got tired of doing it. I got tired of keeping on top of it and so I stopped doing it. And so the other thing is the fast way will always win because it means you'll stick with it as opposed to giving up on it because it takes too much time. So that's why we're going to bring some automation into this strategy. So here's what you're going to need to do this. You're going to need an ifttt.com account or ift. You're going to need an email account or if you did the Gmail smart feed reader from my earlier tutorial which you'll also find on this blog then you can use that and we'll send that there. We are also going to need some RS RSS feeds that contain plenty of quotes, images that bring all that stuff to you in a fairly efficient way so you have less to filter through and more of it is high quality content than stuff you've got to discard. And so we're going to, now this is optional for you to buy the tool. You can just do this research on your own just using web search, but of course the point of what I'm teaching you here is to automate as much as you can. So this is a tool that I use to automate it that I built for myself. Uh, so very fast and easy way to get the RSS feeds, the kind of RSS feeds that you really want. And you can find that tool over at rssfeedfinder.com. It's not very expensive. It's just really simple content research tool for you. So let's 
get started, let's talk first about what we're going to need. We're going to need to find those RSS feeds that bring the quotes to us. And the requirements for those feeds are that they should be pre-filtered or sorted by topic. So in other words, they're really targeted on the niche that they want. They don't have a lot of random stuff. Now I know sometimes you go to other people's blogs and you'll see a blog that has a post about kittens and then a post about something that she made for dinner and so it's it's kind of all mixed up so we want content that is really targeted and we don't have to spend a lot of time sorting through it and searching and you know looking at it to see if it's suitable or not we want it all to be pretty much like 90 percent of it to be suitable now it should be also primarily quotes or sayings and it should be really high quality and likely to be share worthy and of course it goes without saying we want it to be image heavy. Now there is one really really good place to find this content. If you haven't guessed what it is yet, Pinterest board feeds are the perfect thing for this strategy. Now Pinterest is perfect for this because Pinterest users will store nothing but pictures on their boards and these are pictures that they like and kind of resonate with and they organize them by topic so they're not just tossed in a bin you know where you have to sort out the good stuff from the bad stuff or the stuff that they like about kittens from the stuff that they like about yoga or you know so it's not all mixed together so that makes it really really beneficial for us to save time along with that sorting they have already passed the shareability test because somebody liked it enough to pin it to their board. So that means it's already essentially been shared and they either reshared it from somebody else's pin but it's already passed that shareability test. Now also motivational, inspirational, or niche specific sayings or quote boards are many 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 of those on Pinterest and every single one of those boards has a feed that we can access so now as I mentioned you can do this research by yourself you can go over to Pinterest and look for boards and take down their URLs and manually figure out where the feed URLs for that board are if you want to but that is just you know why would you do that when you're busy and you have a, a business to run and you need to you need to keep the content out there and keep it flowing but you need to do it in a way that doesn't disrupt the rest of your business we of course will be showing you how to do it the fast way so the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to open the tool RSS feed finder which I'm going to about to show you and then we're going to be selecting Pinterest as our feed type we're going to be entering the name of our niche along with the word quotes so yoga quotes or fitness quotes and then we're going to click search okay so here is RSS feed finder we're going to select Pinterest boards and then I'm just going to use one of my example so I'm going to say quotes and then maybe I'm also going to include fitness quotes okay so then all I have to do is click on search feeds and you can see that it's going down here it went and looked up some feeds and now it's figuring out where all the feed links are and going through and doing the search and now that the search is completed all you want to do is click the export button and that will give you the ability to save it to a feed so I just would give it a name like yoga quotes and then click on save and so I want to just overwrite that and then what you want to do is you want to go into your exports folder you'll find that in your documents folder under RSS feed finder and then it says exports so that's where you're gonna find that so let's just look at this and I'm gonna show you this is what the export file looks like. You can see that it's got kind of like a name that tells you where what site it came from and then you've also got the site URL so that would be the actual URL to the board itself and then you've got the RSS feed URLs here so this would be where you would go to load this in a feed reader and then of course it also tells you which keyword that came back for which can be useful. So let's just take this one and let's go over into our browser and we'll, I'm going to show you just an example of what comes back in these feeds. Okay so here is one of the feeds and you can see here that we've got a, kind of like a smaller picture so that we can see the wise man lets go of all results whether good or bad and is focused on the action alone and then we get a picture of somebody doing yoga so this is something that resonated with somebody who's a yoga enthusiast. And you see most of these are images with pictures on it. Now there is one here that is a cartoon that maybe wouldn't be that suitable. Self-reliance conquers 
any difficulty. And so a lot of a lot of these actually have wisdom in your actions and faith in your merits. Not all those who wander are lost. I stress, therefore, I do yoga. So you can see that this is really a just a treasure trove of sayings that this niche would resonate with, that people who are interested in yoga, if that was your niche and you were trying to provide this kind of content, this would be a really great way to be able to provide content for your social media or to be able to create new images based on these sayings that you could use on your blog. And because we're using feeds and we're running them, we're going to be running them through IFT and having them actually emailed to us, we'll have an email inbox full of these. So even after they disappear from the feed, we still have that that we can reference and work on later. And, you know, we can forward these to our VAs to work on or, or make new images or schedule for us. So really, really, really good resource here. Okay, so once you've exported the feeds, you've opened the feeds, all you need to do is go to the spreadsheet and copy the feed URLs column data. So in this one, what I would be copying would be everything underneath the header. So I could just copy that. And then what I'm going to want to do, we're going to mash those feeds up into one feed, which makes it a little bit easier and faster for us to just use one recipe instead of having to set one up in IFT for each and every feed. So we're going to go to rssmix.com to create a single feed from these all these board feeds. Go over to rssmix. This is rssmix.com. You can see you just got one box. Paste that in there. You can give it a title if you want, but you don't have to. And then you just click Create. And it'll go and pull in all of these and kind of verify that they're all there. And then it will give you a feed URL in just a second here. Okay, so it's finished parsing all those feeds and making a mix from them, and now we have a new feed URL to this mix. So let's just copy the copy link location, and I'm just going to put that in a little text pad temporarily so that we can use it in our recipe in IFT. We're going to want to set up our recipe in IFTTT. Now this course is the engine that drives all the automation. So we're going to go to our IFT account and we're going to check and just make sure that both the feeds channel and the email channel are already activated. Now if those channels are not activated and you need to know how to activate them, see the Gmail Smart Feed Reader tutorial to see how that's done. So let's go over to IFT and get started with this part. Okay, so once you've logged into your IFT account and you've checked to make sure that both the email and the feeds channels are both active, then you'll want to click on My Recipes and then you'll click on Create a Recipe and then we're going to do click on this and we're going to choose the feeds channel. So I'm just going to search for it, feed. So choose a trigger new feed item that means that a new image or, or whatever has popped up in the RSS feed. Now we're going to use the feed URL that we just got as we mixed it there and we're going to click create trigger and then we're going to click on that and choose the channel that that item is going to be sent to which of course is our email channel. So we have email and then send me an email is the action. Now we can leave most of this the way it already is, but in the subject line I would add an extra little bit of text here that you can use to filter these into the folder when you get the email. So if you're using the smart Gmail feed reader that I showed in another tutorial, then you just create a filter in there for this particular tag and then you can automatically file these into a specific folder so they're not all over your Gmail, they're in one specific place. So for this one, since these are yoga quotes, I'm going to use underscore yoga quotes. And you want to choose something that's not likely to turn up in the titles of things. So things that start with an underscore are not likely to turn up. And so that makes it a lot easier for you to make your filter so that it only catches the things that you want it to catch. Now the entry content will be whatever was in the feed. So in this case the feed included a picture of a the actual image from Pinterest and then whatever description the person had there. You can leave the feed title and the entry URL there if you want and then just click on create action. So I would probably add something so you know what this feed was. 
So maybe yoga quotes from Pinterest. Okay, so got that. And then we can just click on create recipe. And now you can see the recipe is created. And every time a new feed item turns up in this feed here, then an email will get sent to this email address and we'll set up in the email address a filter. So you can do this, you know, you, you don't have to use Gmail as your feed reader. You can do this with others. It's just that it, Gmail makes it really, really easy for you to have, you know, have your VAs be able to access those or uh, be able to forward them. And so the tutorial on how to set up the filter for that is already in my Gmail feed reader tutorial. So that's it. That's all that all that happens is that you just go in and look in your folder that, that you've set up to, to receive the items that have this word, this tag in it every day. And your ideas come right to you. You should have a whole basket full of them. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about what you do with them afterwards. So let's go back here. Mentioned every time a new image appears in the mix, IFT will send you an email and so then you just need to set up the filters so we already discussed that part. When you need content, remember I mentioned that the images that you get this way may be copyrighted. So you know sometimes you can get away with just using that image straight on your social media as a share as long as you're not claiming it's your own property. Now sometimes I mean you don't really see people get in trouble for that like on Facebook or Twitter very often but it is possible so it's a little bit risky. Another better way is to just create your own new quote image in a few seconds. You can just use a flat or a textured background and any photo editor and just put the quote right back on on a little image and then you can use it on your blog. You can also send these to your graphics VA and have them make new images as a batch. You can schedule these once you have a whole bunch of them. Just schedule them. Have your VA schedule them in Buffer or directly with the Facebook scheduler and then you can also use your own original versions and then decorate your blog posts and then share those images back to Pinterest so that you can actually pull that viral traffic from Pinterest back to your blog. So I hope you have enjoyed this really short tutorial on how to set that up and use the power of RSS feeds and IFT to really get some great visual content to feed your social media accounts and drive some traffic for you. So that's it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll talk to you again soon.